Hi, this is Joe from Brain Buffet. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to export your project to both your computer and YouTube at the same time. I'm using an example from my Brain Buffet course on Premiere Pro, which I created to prepare students for their Adobe Certified Associate exam. When you finish an edit and you're ready to share, the first thing you want to do is select the edit. And you could do that by clicking down here on the timeline, clicking up here in the program monitor, or finding where the sequence is and selecting it there. Then go to File, Export, and Media. If Media is grayed out, it's simply because you didn't select something first. Let's go ahead and select that, and we'll take a look at the export settings. Now this at first can seem a little confusing, so let's just break it down into the basic areas. The first thing I like to do is come down here to the lower left hand corner and tell Premiere how much I want to export. Sometimes I just want to export a part of it. So for example, let's say I just want to export this little crash scene here. So I'll go to the end of the crash scene right there and I'll click on the end, go to the beginning and drag this right to that spot. So that's one way of determining, hey, this is what I want to export. You can use these little handles right here to determine a specific amount of export. You can also come down here to source and custom range. If you've determined a sequence in and out point earlier, you can click that. I had a sequence in and out point, and so it's just going to export this area. Or you can do the entire sequence. That's usually what I want to do. And so that's my typical workflow is just to make sure that the entire sequence is selected. This number is how long it's going to be. So if you know it should be about that long, then you're golden. The next thing you want to do is come up here to the export settings and we're going to choose a format. That's the first thing that you want to choose. I typically use H.264, but there's a ton of great options in the format dropdown. Next, this format has lots of different presets. So you can come in here and choose what preset you want. If you know the output, let's say I know I want to send it to YouTube, I might go down there and choose that YouTube quality setting that I'm looking for. If you're going to export a file to your computer, which is typically part of my workflow, you want to click on this output name. That allows you to change the name and more importantly, determine where it's going to go. Now, personally, I've set up a folder on my computer called Exports. It's in a second hard drive, and that's where I export on a regular basis. That way, I always know where my finished files are. This next area down here allows you to change a lot of different things, and I just wanted to point out a couple of them. If you click on Effects, there's all sorts of cool effects that you can apply. Like, let's say I wanted to do an image overlay, like a bug or something like that. You could change the video quality settings, the audio quality settings, but what I really wanted to point out is you can actually publish right online directly from within Premiere. You've got lots of different options, including sending your finished file to the Creative Cloud, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, and YouTube. Let's just say I want to send this to YouTube. I check this box and then you need to sign in with your username and password for your account. I've done that already, so it's already remembered me. If you have multiple channels, you could choose that. I only have a single channel here. You can automatically add it to a playlist. Give it a title, include a description, change the privacy, all those basic things that you're familiar with. This is kind of cool. You can choose a custom thumbnail and you can either do it from a frame within the sequence. So let's say I want to scrub to that frame would be kind of a cool one. I can choose frame from source and use current frame. And that will suck that image up and make it the thumbnail. You can see right here where it says thumbnail at 26.07. So that's pretty neat. So now when I export it, it will export it both to my hard drive and to YouTube at the same time. Now, if we come down here at the very bottom, we have metadata that allows me to bake some information right into the video file, like maybe some copyright information or something like that. And then we have these three main buttons. Obviously, cancel is going to stop everything that I did and just close this dialog box down. The Q is going to launch another program called the Adobe Media Encoder, and it's going to render that video using 
that program. Or we can hit export. You'll see that it's going to bring up a dialog box that allows me to view the progress as it exports. So you can see when I go to my exports folder, I have a new video file in there with the name that I gave it. And if I go to my YouTube channel, you'll see that I have a new video file in there that was exported directly out of Premiere Pro and onto YouTube. So the process of exporting your video out of Premiere Pro is seamless once you know how to do it. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.